So the first things I want to cover are colours and typography. Now when you first start using Bootstrap out of the box it applies what it calls a reboot of the default browser styles. That means that it strips out all of the default margin, padding, font sizes, font weights, font family, etc that the browser provides and it replaces them with a clean and basic set of default Bootstrap styles instead for elements like headings, list items, tables, etc. And you can see all of these styles right here on the Bootstrap docs. And the link to this, by the way, is going to be in the video description down below. So if we start to use elements like headings and paragraphs and the like in our page, we're going to see those basic rebooted styles. So I've already created three heading tags right here, an H1, H2 and H3. And I've done this so you can see what these tags look like in a browser without applying any bootstrap classes. And they look something like this. So these are the styles provided to us by that bootstrap reboot we talked about earlier on. These are kind of like default styles when we use bootstrap. Now, if we wanted to, we could use classes to override these styles and give the text a different look. So let me do an example right here. At the bottom, I'm going to paste in an H2 and it says this is an H2 tag with the H3 class and we apply that class right here. So this is a bootstrap class that is going to style some text to be like an H3. And if I save this and preview, we can see that right here. This H2 looks like an H3. So we don't just have H3, we have H1, H2, H3, all the way up to H6. And if I save this, it's going to look now like an H6, which is much smaller. So we can apply these heading classes to make things look like these different heading tags. OK, so we can also use display headings, which are a bit different from these kind of headings. And in my opinion, a lot of the time they look nicer. So what I'm going to do is an H1 and then I'll say dot display hyphen one. And if I press tab now, then VS Code is going to create this tag with that class for me. That's because of an inbuilt package called Emmet. So it's just a quick way to create different tags with classes. All right. So inside here, I'll say display one heading, and then I'm going to duplicate this just a couple of times so I can show you the different display classes. Now they go all the way from one to six. I'll just show you one, two and six change these to two and six as well. And if I save this and preview, we can see these are much bigger than the heading tags over here. And also they're not bold. This is font weight 500, I think, and this is font weight 300. So sometimes these look a little nicer. So I'm going to show you also maybe display four, save that. And we can see that's somewhere between one and six. So we have all of those display headings as well. Cool. All right, so now we can also apply these classes and these classes to different things. They don't have to be applied to heading tags. So if I come down here, I could do a paragraph tag and give this a class of display hyphen one. And I'll say P tag with display hyphen one class. And if I save that, we can see that this paragraph tag looks exactly the same as this heading. So they can be applied to any tag with text inside them. All right, so. Next, let's take a look at lead text and alignment. So what is lead text? Well, lead text is basically paragraph text, which is just slightly bigger. So let me do a normal paragraph tag, first of all, and I'll say lorem eight tab to generate eight words of lorem ipsum. And then underneath that, I'm going to do another paragraph tag, but this time give it a class of lead. And if I type in here lorem eight and tab and save it, we can preview the difference. So this is the normal paragraph. This is the lead class. So basically this is good for the start of, I don't know, articles or blog posts where maybe the first line or paragraph is a little bigger just to draw in the user's attention. So that's that class. I use that quite a lot. So also we can align text as well. Let's try that out. I'm going to do a paragraph tag down here with a class of lead again, and also a class of text hyphen center. And by the way, it doesn't have to have the class of lead. I just want it to be a bit bigger so that when we see this in a browser, it's more obvious. OK, so I'll say hello ninjas over here. I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times, change this to end and change this to start. So you probably guess what these do. This aligns it to the center, this at the end on the right and this at the start to the left. If I save it, we can preview that center end start. Now, technically speaking, we don't need to apply this because by default, it already 
is at the start so if I save it there's no change all right then so let's move on we have text decoration and font weight so let's say P and give this a class of text hyphen decoration hyphen underline and I'll say this is underlined text I'm going to duplicate this and change underline to line hyphen through and I'll say this is line through text and then after that I'm going to do another paragraph tag and this time say FW bold so this is a font weight class these are text decoration classes and this makes it bold so let me say in here this is bold text and then one more I'm going to do a small tag this is not going to have a class I just wanted to show you what effect this has and I'll say this is small text like so so if we save this now and preview we can see first of all underlined then line through then bold then small and in fact let me just put this up next to this paragraph up here so we can compare the small to the normal paragraph save that and we can see this is a bit smaller than this okay so that's all of the things we can do with font and text and by the way there are more classes i've just shown you a handful here and also don't worry about remembering all these classes i certainly don't all you need to know is that these kinds of things are available and you can always head to the documentation if you want to find them out but anyway that's the different things we can do with the styles of fonts what about text color and background color well in bootstrap we get access to what's known as theme colors and these are predefined colors that are applied to certain classes for us so for example we have the primary color which is blue secondary gray success green danger warning info light and dark and later on we'll see how we can change these but for now we can use these with certain classes to colorize text and background colors that kind of thing so let's give them a whirl so you can see right here i've got several paragraph tags and there's no classes applied to any of them at the minute and I'm going to apply different text classes to them to colorize them those different theme colors that we saw now if we take a look in the browser at the minute then they're all the same color so let's try applying these classes so if we want to colorize our text using those theme colors we can just say text and then hyphen the color name so in our case it was primary let's also do oops we don't want to do that let's come down here and say text and then hyphen secondary and then down here we'll say text hyphen info these are all the different theme variables if you like or the theme colors we just saw so text hyphen warning and then down here we can say text hyphen success and then I'm going to say text hyphen danger and then another one I want to show you that we didn't just say is text hyphen muted and what that one does is basically just mute the text color so the default is kind of a black color it kind of brings that into a more grayish color so it just mutes it a little bit so if i save this and preview we can see all of these different colors now down here which is pretty nice that's pretty easy to colorize that text we can also apply these different colors to the backgrounds of elements so i'm going to come down here and do another paragraph tag and I'm going to give this a class of text hyphen white, which we can also use and also BG hyphen and then whatever color we want to use out of the theme colors. So I could say primary, which is that blue color and I'll say white text on primary BG. Let's do another. I'm going to come down and say paragraph. This time we'll say text hyphen white again and then BG hyphen secondary inside we'll say white text on secondary BG all right let's do one more I'm gonna say P and then text hyphen light this time so very similar to text whites and there's a spelling mistake there I'll correct that in a second also BG hyphen danger which is the red color white text on danger BG let me just correct this over here like so all right so let's preview this and if we scroll down we can see white text on the primary color white text on the secondary color and then white text on the danger color all right so that my friends is the basics of the different text font styles that we can use and also the colors next up we're going to take a look at buttons